Let Them Speak Reviews Patterns 1 to 29. Please repeat or answer. Does it look like this baby is about to cry? Have you ever held the baby that you see in the photo? If you were there, would you try to pick up the baby laying there? Do you wish you had a little sister like that? Do little baby boys ever wear a pink sweater like the one she has on? If this baby could talk, what would she say to you? Do you have any idea how long this baby has been laying there? If she began crying, would you pick her up? Do babies tend to start to cry if they don't see another person standing near them? How old does she look like she is? Are you able to see if she's holding things in her hands? Isn't it dangerous to give babies who are alone little things they can play with? Don't you wish you had a toy she may like to give to her? Is the flag they painted on their faces a flag you have seen before? Can you tell which country they are from? Would it be difficult to paint the flag from the country you come from on your face? Did they say they painted their faces like that since they're thinking of going to a demonstration? How long did they say they would be leaving the flag design on their face?
Will they have trouble washing the paint off their faces? Did they say they will wind up washing it off as soon as they get back home? Was the way they painted their faces easy to do? Did they have a friend help them to paint their faces? They must have had their friends paint it on their face for them. Did they tell you how long it took them to do it? Did you ask them if the place they plan on going to is dangerous? If the place they're going to was dangerous, would you go with them? Did they say that they've been demonstrating against the government since when they were in college? Did they say all they want to do is have the government become less corrupt? Is the reason they're demonstrating worth doing it for? Did they tell you that people who demonstrate sometimes wind up going to jail? Now that they have finished painting their faces, are they ready to go to the demonstration? Didn't they ask you to join them so that you can express your concerns? Do you wish you could go with the guys you see here? What is it that would make you go out to demonstrate the most?
Did they tell you that their parents have no clue that they're doing this? Would their parents keep them from doing it if they found out? Did you used to play with things like the one you see there when you were a child? Can you remember the last time you did it? Even though you're older, would you still have fun doing it again? Who is it that you know would have the most fun doing this? Have you got to blow into the hole in order to make the bubble? Do you have difficulty making bubbles this big like the one you see here? Does it seem like the bubble is about to break? Will it break as soon as it hits the ground? Do kids have fun trying to pop the bubbles before they hit the ground? How can you tell that the person blowing the bubbles is not a kid? Is the thing he's holding, the thing you screw on top of the bottle, where he gets the bubble solution? Does the guy doing that need the thing he has in his hand in order to make the bubbles? Can he keep blowing bubbles as long as he has the soapy liquid to dip that into? What would happen if you blew too hard when you tried to make bubbles?
Does it seem to you that adults enjoy playing with the toy you see there as much as the kids do? Do you live in an apartment building like the one reflected on the coat she's wearing? Do all of the apartments seem to have air conditioners? That apartment building must be in a real hot area since there are so many air conditioners. The time they took this picture must have been colder because she's wearing a coat. Is that a woman you know? Is this the first time that you happen to see her? Do you plan to ask her if that is the place that she lives? How would it be if you didn't have an air conditioner in the place where you live? What is it that she said she went out to get? How often did she say she has to go out to get things at the store? What kind of things did she say she needs to buy today? Did you ask her to get some of those things you need in case she sees them? Aren't there other people that she's living with who are able to do the shopping instead of her? Did she say that she prefers going out to shop by herself? Do you have any idea who it is that's making her so sad? Does she prefer not, not talking about it at this time? Would she be happier 
if one of her friends happened to drop by to talk to her? Don't you wish you could make her happier? Does it look like she's been crying? Did she tell you that the stuffed animals help her to feel better every time she gets to see them? Is the place she's standing in her bedroom? Is that how you decorate your bedroom that's in your house? Did you ask her how it is that she got so many stuffed animals? She must have collected them for a long time. What is the biggest stuffed animal that she has? Before going to sleep, has she got to take all of the stuffed animals off the bed so she can sleep? Are you able to see the other person that sleeps in that bedroom with her? While you grew up, did you have to share your bedroom with one of your brothers or sisters? Do most of the friends you're close to have their own bedroom? Does it seem like he's in the middle of drinking from the carton he has in his hands? He must be really thirsty. Did he use a straw so that he could drink from it? Is that the only way you can drink out of it? What would happen if he didn't have a straw to use? What sort of things does it seem he is trying to sell?
Is this the way he makes a living? Did he say he's been doing this since he lost his job? If you were there, what would you be interested in buying from him? It must be hard selling things like that. Did you ask him if this is where he comes to sell things every day? Where do you end up going to buy socks instead of buying them from a guy like this? Does it look like he's also trying to sell the things he has over his shoulder? Can you tell what it is? Which one of the people that are in the photo isn't using the phone now? Is the woman who is on the phone calling the guy in the picture that's on the side of the truck? What is it that he's doing with his right hand? They both must be at a bus stop waiting for a bus. Is the guy sitting down able to hear the conversation she's having? Don't you hate it when people speak too loud on their phones in public? Would she tell him who the person she's talking to if he asked her? Wouldn't she tell him it was none of his business if he asked her that? Who is the last person that you asked to call you? Would you have been angry if they hadn't called you back? Who is it that you wish called you more often?
Would you rather have people text you instead of calling you to talk? Do you ever delete texts on your phone so other people you know can't see them? Are you ever embarrassed with things that you text to other people? Do you ever get texts from people that you don't know? Is this how it is whenever you get on a bus to go places you need to go? Do you see the woman sitting down in the bus there? Did most of the people have difficulty finding a seat once they got on that bus? Why is it that a few of the people are putting their hands on the window? Is that how they keep from falling onto the person sitting next to the window? Is the woman that's standing holding the back of the seat so that she doesn't fall? Should she have closed the window a bit to make sure she doesn't accidentally fall out of the open window? It must be really hot on the bus. How do you like the handbag she has? Did she put the bag on her right so that other people won't be able to see the things she has in it? Is that bigger than the handbags that you usually like carrying around? Who is it that he's taking a walk with? They must be two people who love each other taking a walk in the rain.
Is that what you like doing when it rains with the person you love? Are they going to be taking a walk until it stops raining? Isn't that where you look forward to taking a walk to? Are you the one that gave them the umbrella they're using? If they didn't have an umbrella, would they have just sat inside and talked? Has he almost finished smoking that cigarette he's holding? Do they let him smoke inside the office where he works? Now that there are new rules, has he got to smoke outside? Does that make him angry that they make him go outside? How much does it cost to buy a pack of cigarettes these days? Has the cost kept going up because they tend to tax it a lot? Even though they say it's bad for you, do you enjoy smoking every once in a while? Will his clothes smell like smoke after he finishes smoking? Has he almost finished smoking that cigarette he has in his hand? How can you get him to stop smoking so that he can protect his health? What percent of the friends you have have you seen smoking lately? If I offered you a cigarette now, would you go outside to smoke with me?
Is this how they display fish at the place you go to shop for food? Shouldn't they have put the tongue back in the mouth of that fish? Wouldn't it have looked better? Did you know that fish had long tongues like that? Does it look like the fish is missing some of its front teeth? Why is it that they put the ice under the fish they're trying to sell? Is this what you would buy? Are the fish they are selling fresh? If this fish had swum faster, would it have gotten away? How can you tell if the fish you want to buy are really fresh? If I bought you the fish in front like the one you see here, how is it that you would cook it for dinner? Would you buy a fish like the one you see in the photo with its tongue like that? That fish must have been really exhausted since its tongue is hanging out like that. The next time you eat fish, will you be cutting off the head and throwing it away before cooking it? Don't fish soups taste better if you boil the fish head you bought in it? Would you rather buy fresh fish after they have cut off the head? Do people who buy fish like this usually ask the people working there to cut off the head when they buy it?
Is this where people go to say prayers or make wishes? Is this the best way you can make sure your wish comes true? If you went there now, what would you wish? Do they seem to charge for the candles people use that are in the glasses? Where is it that you would put the money? What would happen if you lit one and didn't pay for it? If you saw a person not pay, what is it that you would do? Doesn't it look like they lit most of the candles? In order to light the stick, have you got to put it in one of the lit candles sitting there? Where was the last place you went that had something like this? What is the biggest wish that you have these days that you wish would come true? Do you like the way they put on her makeup? She must have spent a lot of time putting on her makeup since it looks so professional. Does she look like a person that would talk to you? Does it appear that she'd rather not talk to you? Doesn't her look make you feel a bit uneasy? Is there any way that you could make her smile? Would she look prettier if she started to smile? How is it that she got those perfect eyebrows? Would she have to pay to have a person do that for her? Do you wish you had eyebrows like the ones 
she has? Are you surprised to see that she isn't wearing earrings? If you happen to meet her, what would you be interested in asking her? If she asked you to give her your phone number, would you be surprised? Would you be too shy to ask her for her phone number? Why is it that he decided to stay there? Is this a way he's able to make a little bit of money? If you were going to give him some money, where is it that you would put it? How much would you wind up giving him? Do you know if he manages to make enough money there to live? Would he come out here even though it was raining? Would you try to talk to him or avoid him if you passed by him? What are the birds waiting for? How come they aren't afraid of him? He must have food to give to the birds that are around him. As soon as another person walks up, will the birds probably just fly away? How long will it take them to come back to get food from the guy sitting in the wheelchair? Does it seem like some of the birds are trying to read the things he wrote on the cardboard? Would you buy any of the rings he has on? Does the woman sitting next to him appear to know him well? What is it they're talking about?
Do each of them have a white streak in their hair? They must have gone to the same salon to do their hair. Do you like the way he did his sideburns? Is the motorcycle he came there on sitting behind him? How many things does he seem to have in his left hand? Does it appear that he is about to drop any of it? Have you ever gone to a liquor store to buy liquor in a bottle like the one he has? Don't you like the boots he's wearing? Do you wish you had a pair of boots like that? Have you recently been to a place that sells boots like the ones you see there? Would your friends be surprised if they saw you wearing boots like the ones he has on? It must be warm and uh, windy outside. Doesn't she seem to be waiting for a friend? Do you feel like asking her who she's waiting for? Could you fit into a dress like the one that she has on? Does she seem to have really long hair? Wouldn't they charge her more to dye her hair that is so long? How long is the longest you have ever had your hair? Is she standing next to the building so that she can stay out of the wind? Is the outfit she's wearing perfect to go out sailing in? The first time you saw this photo, did it look like the baby had tattoos on her head? Doesn't it look like the mother 
really seems happy. Can you tell if the baby she's holding is sleeping now? Whenever you look into a small baby's face, how does it make you feel? Do you have any friends that have a baby this young? When was the last time you had the chance to hold a baby? What type of sounds would you make to the baby who is that young while holding it? Wouldn't you feel great if the baby started to smile at you? How long has it been since you last had the opportunity to hold a baby? Don't you wish you could do it more often? <laughs>